hey guys welcome to my channel in this video i'll be showing you how to make a better coat for your ball dress if this is what you would like to learn kindly watch this video to the end hello dear soulmates and welcome once again so i'll be showing you the required materials you actually need to recreate this beautiful petticoat so the first matter you actually need is any lightweight fabric such as your silk your taffeta your satin any lightweight fabric is actually okay but because i actually want more volume to my petticoat i'll be using this ad net this ad net right here i'll be using about, about two meters of ad net which i'll be using here and then you'll be requiring your bone infrastructure so you can use your steel boning if it's actually readily available for you but because my steel boning is actually not available so i'm using this plastic boning and the width of the plastic boning i'm using is about three eighths of an inch as you can see three eighths of an inch so i'll be using this and of course to create my bone casing or my bone channel i'll be using this doll face to create it and i'll be cutting it in strips that's 1.5 inches strip so i'll be cutting it and i'll be using that so having done that now let's get into the process so the first thing you actually need to do the measurements you actually need you need your length the length of your petticoat now how long you actually want it to be and if you are making this petticoat for commercial purposes maybe you actually want to rent it out then of course you actually want to make it a one size fit all and by that you can either use an hip measurement or use your waist measurement and you actually go ahead to add some inches to it so for me now my waist measurement is 25 inches so i'll be adding about five inches to it because of course i'll be adding elastic or i'll be adding rope you can actually add more than the five inches but for me i'd actually be using the adding the five inches to it so my waist now which is 25 plus five inches which is that's the width is going to be 30 inches now this 30 inches now i want to cut my net on i want to cut my net using the half circle that's the 180 degree flame so of course now i'll be dividing it my that's my circumference that's like 30 divided by 3.14 now what i would have would be about 9.75 so i can actually approximate this to give me 10 inches so you want to use your own measurements or your client's measurements to actually achieve this so now and when I actually this 10 inches now i'll actually go ahead to fold in my i'll use this paper because if i want to use the net i'm actually not get to see it this i'm going to fold as mean this is my fabric i'm going to fold it into two like this and then when i do that i fold it into two like i'm just use this part because i think this part is actually neater so i'm going to fold it into two and then i'll go ahead and fold it in a bias form like this so when i'm done now i have this now i have this then i'm just going to go ahead and use my measurement the circumference i got whatever it is i'll just go ahead and then mark it like this mark it and then what what i have i'll just go ahead and just connect it and then the length i actually want to work with now i'll just go ahead and mark out the length i want to work with in this case this as i'm working with the length of nine inches i'm going to go ahead and mark it all around like this so when i'm done i'll just connect all this i believe we should all know how to cut a 180 degree flare so i'll just go ahead and cut this out like this so when i cut it out i would have this like this so i'm just going to go ahead and replicate this exact thing on my on my ad net so i'm going to take my ad net now remember i said i actually have about two meters of ad net here so i'm going to go ahead and just fold it into two then when i'm done folding it into two i'll go ahead and fold it again to actually have something like this so this is it to have this 
a triangular shape. Yeah, a triangular shape. I was looking for the right term to actually use. So I have my triangular shape here. And you know it's an ad net now, so it's kind of tricky. So you just want to go ahead. I actually like pinning it down. So I'm just going to pin it down to actually keep this in place here. So I'm pinning this down like this. I'm pinning it down. Also to keep it in place. Pinning this down like this. So when I'm done, then I'm going to, I'll just bring this down so you can actually get to see. So the width I'm working with, or the circumference I'm working with now is 10 inches. So I'm going to mark it from the tip of my net. Now I'll be using a marker because if I use a chalk, you might actually not get to see this. So I'm going to mark the width of the, sorry, I don't know why I keep saying width. The circumference now, which is 10 inches. I said we are going to use 10 inches. 10 inches. So I'm going to mark it all around like this. 10 inches. And then 10 inches like this. And when I do, I'll go ahead and connect this like this. I hope you actually get to see what I'm doing because you're not next. So I'm using a blue marker so you can see. And once I'm done now, I'll just go ahead and measure out the length of the petticoats i want so again now i have about 25 inches so i'll just use that 25 inches let me just exhaust the whole ad net so i'm using my 25 inches so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to mark out my 25 inches so you can make this longer if you want to make it longer you can go ahead and just make do with about four to five yards of ad net so i'm just going to add marking my 25 inches all around like this twenty five inches like this, so when I'm done, I'm just going to connect this like this, connecting all my lines together, and voila, we are good to go, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'll cut this out like this. Now, please note that you can actually make this a 360 degree flare. You can make it a full cycle depending on the volume you actually want to work with. If you want to know, the more fuller your petticoat is, the more volume it adds to your ball dress. So please keep that in mind when choosing what you want or the degree of flare you actually want to use. So I've cut this out now. So this is what it looks like. This is going to make like a short petticoat, but then we are good to go. The same process if you actually want to make use of a long petticoat. So this is it now. So I haven't cut that out now. The next thing you want to do is to determine the number of hoop lines you actually want for your petticoat. So you can make as many as you want or as small as you want. For me, I want about just four hoop lines. So what I'm just going to do now is I, you can actually go ahead and measure out the length of your petticoat or the length of the fabric you have. It's not a petticoat. We are getting there. The length of the fabric you have and then divide it by the number of hoop lines you actually want or the number of bone lines you actually want. So for me now, I'll be using six, six inches. So it's going to be six inches apart like this six inches apart so i'm using like i said you can use as many as you want so i'm having one year one year one year away so in total i have about four hoop lines so i'm going to go ahead and just mark this across to actually become easier for me so i'm going ahead to marking this across now like i said i'm using six six inches so you can make yours five you can make it four what have you just be creative about it so made so i'm just marking this round guys i'm actually gonna add to mark out my lines i've marked it round 
to actually want to go ahead and mark this one so i'm actually gonna add to mark this one and i've also gonna add to actually cut out my bone channels actually cut it on fold i used one inch yeah about one inch on fold so that's like two inches so I actually cut out long strips and i also folded it because i actually want a very very neat job so i've gone ahead to cut out my bone channels now so we're going over to the sewing machine and we just couple this up and we are good good we are going to sew down our bone channels now we're placing our bone channels with this the office i'm actually gonna add to iron this down to make it easy for me so now i'm going to sew down on the lines i actually marked round and when i want to sew i want that from i'm going to place my um doll face here that's my channels here but i will start stitching from this part i'm going to come about 0 0.5 of an inch away from this line so that by the time we're actually done stitching up the this allowance we have space to insert our boning in so now i'm going to start sewing remember we leave about 0 0.5 or 0 0.75 inch away from the end and then just start stitching it down so ironing this has actually made my work like very very easy and of course it's going to give me a nice job a nice job a nice job i just want to go ahead and stitch this down and the result is going to be wow So with this now you can give your next ball dress more volume So please ensure to always stay on the lines you mark if you want a neat job. Just stay on that line. So my strips was not enough, so I just had to like join here. Yes, it's allowed. So like I said, once you get to this edge, please leave about 0 0.5 or 0 0.75. Do not stitch it. Do not stitch it because we'd actually have to close that part up and we'd need somewhere to actually insert our bone. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this. Yes, says. Then I'll turn this. I'll flip it to the other side and I would sew this down like this. So like I said, don't start from that edge, just leave about your 0 0.5 and then sew this all round. So you can see it's so neat and so fast because I actually went ahead to iron my strips down first. So you can just go ahead and press yours if you want a very, very fast job. And um, here we are at the very end like this. And I'm going to leave my half inch just backstitch. So now... I'm going to go ahead and finish up this part, this part, and then I'll show you how to insert the bone ends inside. I'm actually gonna add to stitch down all my bone casing to my ad net now. Our petticoat is already forming. So I actually went ahead to stitch this upper part, that's the rope or the elastic, because I'll be using either my rope, I've created the rope, or I'll be using this elastic 
for this upper part here. So instead of stitching it outside, I actually stitched it inside because I'm out using add net and you know it's going to be a little bit irritating to the skin and this part will be touching the body. So I used that method and stitched it inside. And also this part here, I've gone ahead to stitch it close. I left a little space about four inches to make it very easy for you to actually wear this. Now this part now, I left it open because this is the part we've been setting our bone in through. And when we are done, we can actually go ahead and just stitch it down. So now I'm going to insert my bone. I've gone ahead to cut out my plastic boning. Like I said, if you have the steel boning, it's also the same method to just go ahead and insert it inside. So I'll start with this now. I sharpened my steel boning. Uh, sorry, my, I don't know why I'm saying steel boning. My plastic bone, and I'm just going to go ahead and insert it inside my bone casing like this. So you want to take it around. So because... The bone casing is actually white, so it's very easy for us to pass it through. So I'm just going to go ahead and ensure that it's going the right way. Yeah. Okay, because that piece is a bit bulky, so it's having a little bit of issue. Yeah, so we're good to go. So I'm actually gonna add to insert all my bones into the channels I created. I've also inserted my rope into the casing I made, and this is what the petticoat looks like. So just imagine if you're making this for a long ball gown, you know you have a long one. So now, like to finish, this is the part where I actually left to insert my boning through. So like to finish it up, you can just place it on each other and just use your hand needle to tack it down neatly. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this on, I'll put it on my mannequin and I'll show you what it looks like. And guys, this is what my petticoat looks like. So that will be all for this tutorial. If you actually find this video helpful, please, please, please like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'll see you in my next video guys. Bye.